Hey there, fellow gamers. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm excited to dive into some of the coolest features in Diablo and share with you some of the tips and tricks to level up your game experience. We'll be covering a variety of topics from character selection, customizations, and progression to crafting, gem making, and item upgrading. We'll also take a closer look at some unique features of the game like the Codex of Power, Transmogrifications, and Emotes. So whether you're a seasoned Diablo player or just starting out, there is something for everyone here. So sit down, relax, and let's get started on our journey through the world of Diablo. So, we begin with classes. The first class that we want to talk about is Druids. Druid is a versatile class that can shapeshift into different animals, such as bear or a wolf, to gain new abilities and forms of attack. They can also call upon the power of the nature to heal themselves and summon animals to fight alongside. Druids are a great choice for players who want to be adaptable and versatile and damage no one. That was a joke. Second, we have Rogues. Rogue is a SLC class that excels in sneak attacks and disabling traps and moves silently through the shadows. They are also skilled in ranged combat, using bows and crossbows to deal damage from distance. Rogues are a great choice for players who enjoy being sneaky and strategic. Then we have the Sorcerer. The Sorcerer is a powerful caster who specializes in elemental magic. They can rain down fire and ice on their enemies, summon powerful storms, and even teleport short distances. Very short. Sorcerer are the great choice for players who want to deal massive damage from distances. I don't want to spoil what a skill does that. And then we have Necromancer. The Necromancer is a dark caster who can summon undead minions to do their bidding. They can also curse their enemies and drain their life force, and even raise fallen enemies as undead allies. Necromancers are a great choice for players who want to control a small army of undead creatures. And last but not least, the Barbarians. The Barbarian is a fierce warrior who specializes in close combat. They can charge into battle, shrugging off damage and dealing massive damage in return. They can also go into a crazy frenzy mode that makes them even stronger. Barbarians are a great choice for players who want to be up close and personal with their enemies. So, the next thing that we should talk about is character customizations. In Diablo, character customization is a really important part of the game. You can make your character look and feel unique in a variety of ways. First, you get to choose your character's class, as we discussed earlier. Each class has its own set of abilities and strengths, so choosing the right one for you and your playstyle is important. Next you get to choose your character's appearance. You can pick from a variety of different faces, hairstyles, and colors to make your character look just how you want them to. You can also choose different armor and weapons to further customize your character. As you progress through the game, you'll also have the opportunity to earn new gear and equipment. This gear can be enchanted and improved, making your character even stronger. One of the coolest parts of the character customization in Diablo is the skill tree. Each class has its own skill tree that you can use to unlock new abilities and upgrade existing ones. This allows you to tailor your character's abilities, making them even more effective in combat. Overall, character customizations is a really fun and important part of the game. It allows you to make your character truly your own and can help you to feel even more invested in the game. And now, the next thing that we want to talk about is items, salvaging them and how to upgrade them. Salvaging and upgrading items is an important part of Diablo's gameplay. When you're out adventuring in Diablo, you'll find all sorts of items like weapons, armors and accessories. Some of these items may be useful to you, but others might not be. That's where salvaging comes in. Salvaging is the process 
of breaking down unwanted items into their component parts. You can do this at Blacksmith, who will break down the items for you and give you the crafting materials in return. These materials can then be used to create new items or upgrade existing ones. Upgrading is another way to improve your items. You can take a piece of gear to the blacksmith and use your crafting materials to enhance it. This can make it more powerful and give it new bonuses, making it even more useful in combat. It's important to note that not all items are worth salvaging or upgrading. Some items are just not very good and it's better to sell them to vendor instead but for those items that have potential salvaging and upgrading can be a great way to improve your character's gear and get an edge in combat next we have herbalism and diablo that's right herbs and herbalism play an important role in crafting potions that can help you in combat most of them by now was defensive by the way and some experience. As you explore the world of Diablo, you'll come across all sorts of herbs and other materials. These materials can be used to create potions, which can be consumed during combat to heal your character or grant temporary bonuses. To craft potions, you'll need to have a basic understanding of herbalism. This skill allows you to identify different herbs and know what potions they can be used to create. You can also upgrade your health potions, making them more effective at healing your character. Once you've gathered the right materials, you can use them to create potions at a vendor and you can have them in your inventory, in your potion tab. And now let's talk about the fun stuff. Oh, fun stuff. Fun stuff. Each character class has its own skill tree and set of spells that they can use in combat. The skill tree in Diablo is a visual representation of abilities and spells that your character can learn. Each class has its own unique skill tree, which is divided into different branches that correspond to different playstyles. As you gain experience and level up, you'll earn skill points that you can use to unlock new abilities and spells in your skill tree. These abilities can range from powerful combat spells to useful utility skills that can help you in other ways. It's important to choose your skills and spells wisely, so it's important to experiment and find what works best for you. And also, each character class has two enchant enchant enchantment slots. Enchantment slots are slots in your character equipment that can be used to enchant your skills and abilities. Each class has two enchantment slots that can be unlocked as you level up. The first enchantment slot becomes available at level 15, while the second become available at level 30. Enchantment slots can be used to add bonuses to your skills, such as increasing their damage or making them more effective in certain situations. So choose your enchantment slot wisely. Alright, so that's it for today, but in our next video we will talk about aspects of power, gems and transmogrifications, and also we will talk about regional progression and collection tab. So be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.